Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Friday, March the 11th, 2011. We've got a lot of information to go over and a lot of alerts to give you, so check this out. Okay, before we get into all the different signals that we have going over the global markets and the uh, commodities telling you what to do next week, I wanted to show you this longer term picture of the NASDAQ. I warned about this several months back and it's it's here, so it's time to uh, discuss this. What we have here is the previous peak of uh, 2007 uh, before the, flat, the big major crash in 2008 and bottom in 2009 bounced back up. Back during this rally, you had supports in here and here and here. Uh, back here, you had all kinds of supports and, and you bounced along up here and started to break through them, right? And then you bounce back up here, form one support here, and rally up here again. This formation right here is known as a double top. Double tops uh, can form with a series of equal high points, just like kind of we have right now. They can form with a lower series of high points, and they can form with a higher series of high points. Uh, the main thing about a double top isn't their you know namesake the double top it's the uh, distance between the secondary point and its primary support primary support for this particular average we're looking at here is the previous low here and then another one down here back here you had a lot more supports in place than you do right now you're extremely overextended from support there's a couple of different ways this can play out but none of them are good not for bulls uh, that's going to bring uh, uh, your attention to what I'm about to show you as far as the sell signals that we're seeing in the markets and commodities and so forth and so on. Uh, everything right now is looking very bearish and I would be 100% on the short side moving forward here. For those of you who don't speak technical analysis, let me just draw it out for you this way. Here's a previous high. We sold off. We've bounced back up to that level, overextended. Nice overbought conditions being signaled here. I expect us to pull back down to this level very easily, and then we will dive lower, in my opinion. But we're just right now, just looking at this sell-off is coming. It's probably going to be very quick, and uh, we, I expect we'll go lower. That's when we'll decide whether or not we're going to even dive even lower or find a double bottom and start forming a new uptrend. But it's important to note that we are overextended, we are overbought, and there is a major pullback coming. Okay, before we get started looking at the global markets, we've got to make a quick announcement here about our portfolio. Uh, in our portfolio, last week we told you we took two new positions. I closed one of those out today, and it's already on the website. Uh, we've gained 102% there uh, in about a little over a week, and I'll be taking two new positions uh, on Monday, hopefully. So we'll be looking for those, and uh, you can check that out on our free website at perfectstockalert.com. Okay, let's get to the markets. Okay, a quick look here at Australia's markets. We told you three weeks ago our system said you should be out of equities. And right now you're really happy you did, you did that uh, or you're kicking yourself. Uh, in a, either way, it's important to note that in this particular average here, we, do not, we don't, don't have a sell signal here. So uh, we're just watching it remain in cash there. But we have sell signals other places. Let's go check them out. Okay, last week we told you there was two different scenarios that we were seeing possible. Uh, one, you could gap down at the start of the week and then rally or gap up at the start of the week and sell off. And you know, depending on how it worked out, it was going to be your signal as to which way the market was going to be moving and which way we would be playing that. Uh, you had a gap up and then you started selling off. That was a sell signal and you have a get closed on a bearish engulfing. This tells you it's a sell signal, which like I said before in yesterday or last week's video, uh, with this overbought condition of the RSI above the 70 line, that would make more sense to me. Uh, the, simply the stop would be the previous high of uh, 12,391.29. One buck above there would be the stop, okay? We're looking for this to trend line right here to break down next week or the couple weeks, but uh, keep an eye on this. It's going to uh, break down. you are already seen the breakdown of the major trend line on a lot of other averages. This one will just uh, follow as well. Quick look here at gold. You did get stopped out of our gold trade. Uh, it wasn't on this chart. It was on GLD we were trading. But in any event, you did get a lower low this week than last. That means you were stopped out right there. We do not have a sell signal here, so you wouldn't sell it. But you are stopped out from the long side. Therefore, you are not supposed to be in equities or commodities on the long side as of now. For, like I said, three weeks ago, you were supposed to be out of uh, equities. And as of this week, you should be out of commodities. Hang Seng index right here, looking pretty weak. You'll notice this formation of this particular uh, inverted hammer, and it's not very pretty right now. Uh, we're not seeing anything bullish in 
throughout the week we've seen a lot of negative news, especially out of uh, Japan today. God be with them. Uh, keep them in our, in our, our prayers. Over the weekend, they're having their uh, problems uh, with their nuclear reactors as well uh, after uh, the earthquake and tsunami. Uh, you'll notice here in China's Hang Seng market, you are last previous signal was a sell. You want to stay that way. You don't have any buy signals here. And if the uh, global market continues to break down, so will the Hang Seng. Uh, news on their inflation was not good. That's going to invite a rate hike, and that's going to be driving prices lower. Quick look here at the BSE index, uh, India Bombay Stock Exchange. We were stopped out last week on the sh our most recent short here, uh, but uh, like I said, this was not a buy signal, and all we're doing now is rolling back over. Wait for another sell signal or uh, remaining cash, but you don't have a buy signal here, so expect it to keep pressing lower. Uh, last week we talked about the FTSE, London Financial Times Index told you it was not looking bullish. We expected this trend line to break down. We've also adjusted the trend line to show that another method it could have drawn out which would have actually broke it down last week or thereabouts. Uh, in any event, she did continue to downside here. We are short this, has been for the past three weeks. You keep advancing your stop loss limit, letting her trail, uh, trail the stop down as she continues to move lower. Uh, the whole European credit crisis thing, that's still alive and well over there, and it's raising its ugly head again, and that's what uh, it's another one of those items out there that's really drawing down the market. Quick look here at the NASDAQ here in the U.S. We've got a bearish engulfing. That is a sell signal. The stop would be the previous high right there. And you would simply expect this to continue to move to the downside. Remember, first line of support is going to be right about here. And that's a long way to fall from where we're at right now. All right, the only commodity that we have that's showing a sell signal right now would be oil. Uh, however, I would not take it. I won't take it simply because of the unrest that's over there in uh the Far East, and that's going to, I mean, that could be really volatile either direction, so I'm not going to mess with that uh, on the short side. There's easier opportunities and equities, in my opinion, so I would avoid this one. You don't want to be long uh, oil at this point. You've been stopped out by now. Like I said before, whenever you get the buy signal bullish engulfing here or here, you want to advance your stop, trail it along the low points until you're stopped out, and by now, you are stopped out. We do have a sell signal with a stop here for those who would take it. Uh, I'm just not that fearless. The Russell 2000 small cap index here in the U.S., another sell signal to the downside. Makes sense with the overbought conditions here and here. So I would be looking for this to continue to move to the downside here. The same conditions we just pointed out on the NASDAQ apply here. Uh, major support is going to be here, first one. And uh, you've got a long way to fall before you get to that point. The S&P 500 small, I'm mean, sorry, the large cap index. Uh, you'll notice here, this is that uptrend we are talking about. All right, bounced off of it a couple times, and now we've broken through it, forming a sell signal as well. Overbought conditions on the RSI, everything makes sense to me on the sell side. I would definitely use that as an opportunity. And like I said, the Dow Jones has yet to break down. Dow Jones Industrial Average has yet to break its uptrend line, but like the uh, S&P showing here, uh, it's likely to do so. All right, silver is the only commodity you can actually still be long here. Uh, we did get a buy signal last week on silver. You get intraweek pullback and give you even better buying opportunity, and she has closed back to the upside here. Uh, she is overextended on the RSI, but this is a very bullish chart, nice consolidation pattern for a long uh, period of time, nice uh, base formation, nice breakout from that base, quick little pullback here, and then she's off to the races again, breaking out to new highs. And keep an eye on it, but in any, any event, it is still bullish and still a buy. Last but not least, looking at Canada's markets, the TSX. We've been watching this one for about two months just in cash. Uh, we did make a little trade back here and here. Uh, attempted trades on the, the uh, downside pulling back to the trend line right here, but not expecting anything beyond that. And then uh, we've been watching it bounce around up here for a while, but didn't ever get a buy signal here. So uh, when we have a situation like that where the market's advancing higher and we never got a buy signal, we simply watch it in cash. And this is a good example as to why you do that. Whenever you get a little bounce to the upside that's weak, overextended, whenever they do turn around, they become vicious and you'll notice in effect we've actually missed nothing and now we have a sell signal. So this would be your entry opportunity here. Any bounce you got would be just a gift and your stock would be way up here, okay? For those of you who'd like to show your support for our free service here at PerfectStockAlert.com, please visit our YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. Thank you very much. God bless. Take care. Please pray for those in Japan. Enjoy your weekend. Have a quick look at our disclaimer. There's the disclaimer. Read it and weep. I'll see you all on Monday.